day did you know? It's a great day to wear a watch. What's up Schwartz Force? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see in the description of this video, as well as what I have in front of me here, this is the Frederic Constant Classics Index. Now, they did make a version of this watch in 40 millimeter, but this is the larger at 43 millimeters. Now, unfortunately, this watch has a odd number 23 millimeter lug width, so that makes it difficult to find straps. But there's another problem with this watch, which is getting a strap that fits correctly. And you'll see what I mean here in just a moment. But real quick, in case if you're new to the channel, my name's Dave, may the Schwartz be with you. And hey, did you know, it's a great day to wear a watch. Boom, today I have on my Alpina Star Timer Automatic Pilot Chronograph Watch. And I just did a review on it, so check it out up here. But let's go ahead, I want to show you a couple things I discovered that will work for this particular watch if you're looking to upgrade the strap to leather from the bracelet, or maybe just swap out the strap that the watch came with. So definitely stick around to the end and let me know if you find this video helpful and please give it a thumbs up. Okay, so one of the first things that I wanted to show you was how on the lugs, you'll notice that it there's two spots or two holes for these spring bars. Now, when you have the bracelet on, it of course fits up snugly to the case and curves downward and fits really nicely. But with these two holes here that you see, Depending on the strap, like for example, this is just a straight end spring bar going through this strap. It looks good in terms of the spacing. However, because it's closer to the case, it leaves this little lip exposed of the lugs where those other holes are. And so when you're actually wearing it on the wrist, even though it looks good head on or looking straight on, as soon as you come to an angle, you're gonna see how it's just sticking out the lugs. It looks kind of awkward. And if you try to put it on the top lugs, look at the gap. So now it fixes that problem of having the lugs stick out, but now you have this big gap and you can actually see your wrist through it. So that doesn't look good either. So on AliExpress, I did find that they sell these straps, particularly for this watch. It's a 23 millimeter. They do uh, with either a tang buckle or double deployant clasp, butterfly clasp. So check that out. I'm going to put a link down in the description for you. So if you want to just buy the strap, it actually has two spring bars in the strap where it's molded to fit this particular lug design. Um, it's really cool. I haven't ordered one myself. I'm actually thinking of pulling the trigger on the brown leather strap option, but I actually came across this alligator leather strap on Amazon. So this is a true alligator um, leather strap and it's not just a textured you know, crocodile or alligator pattern like this one here, which was a lot cheaper. So I think you can get these online in brown or in black for under 30 bucks, which is just a steal in my opinion. So I have the crocodile strap on now, and then you'll see same problem we're gonna run into the lugs when it's being worn on the wrist, it's gonna peek out just a bit. So here's the solution. You definitely wanna have, and I just recommend this, if you have a lot of strap options and also different size lug widths on your watches, then this is invaluable. You have to pick one of these up. They're very cheap, less than 10 bucks, and it has just a variety of sizes of spring bars. I like that these are the double flange uh, spring bars. They're a little thinner, you know, one and a half millimeter. Um, it would be good if you could find the thicker ones just to have both options for thinner and thicker spring bars. That'd be really cool. But again, this goes from eight millimeters all the way up to 25 millimeters. Most of the ones you're going to use, of course, are your 20 millimeter and 22 millimeter. But even having these smaller ones comes in handy for things like, you know, on your clasps, you may have to replace spring bars there. So it's always good to have some of these as well. Now the lug width on the Classics Index again is 23 millimeters. So what I do is I'll take two of these 24 millimeter spring bars and I'm gonna convert them into a curved spring bar. So I just bent it in the middle and then a little bit to the right and to the left of that to give that curved effect. I just used some needle nose pliers, you know, put some pressure on it and was able to bend one. And I did the same with a second one as you can see here. So what we're going to do is we're going to install these spring bars on that second set of holes, but behind the leather. So let me show you what that looks like. So after getting those installed, you can see here how they fit and they're kind of curved and these will fit into those holes. Um, if you go with a 25 millimeter lug width, it'll be too large, but having that 24 millimeter 
spring bar um, option is going to be just enough to where by the time you curve it in, it's gonna fit into those spots perfectly. And what that's doing is it's kind of giving a little bit of resistance to the strap. Now it can no longer come just straight down from the lugs. You see how it kind of forms a little bit more to the shape. It does stick out just a tad, but trust me on the wrist, this looks so much better. Let me show you. So now you can see it gives just enough kind of support behind it and that lug to fit a more, way more flush. And it looks a ton better in my opinion. So this is now how the watch wears. So it's kind of my workaround for this watch. Now you could of course buy those other straps. I'll likely pick up one of those options myself just to try it out and see um, how much better it looks or works in this particular case. Now, if you want to pick up this genuine alligator strap, I'll include a link down in the description for this one as well. Again, they have it in brown. But yeah, just a quick video for you guys on my kind of solution for the strap problem that people may experience with this particular watch. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to the channel. That really helps me out. You can do that by tapping my logo over here. And if you haven't seen my full review on the Frederic Constant Classics Index, check it out up here. And if you have seen that review, check this video out. I know you'll enjoy it. But I look forward to seeing you guys at the next one. And until then, may the Schwartz be with you. Take care.